Hey guys, today we are going to talk about these beautiful lands and let me begin by saying everything I have learned about MTG Finance tells me that these are going to be quite valuable in the future, but things have changed. What used to be true, real estate lands are just the most valuable cards you can have is no longer as true due to reprints. And yes, these cards are not reprints and these cards have beautiful artwork, but the onslaught of how many full art lands there are, from Amaket to Battle for Zendikar, to the original Unstabled and um, not Unstabled, Unhinged and Unglued. Mm, I am not a buyer of these lands, at least in a booster box. I feel like if you buy them singularly, you buy the singles and you focus on one art type, maybe you hit a home run. There is a lot of risk involved. Uh, the risk is there's so many four art lands from the Expeditions to Guru lands to Judge lands. I just don't, even to the Amarquette lands, I don't know who these lands, who's going to be super, super hyped on these lands. Partially, the release date is end of the year. Uh, it makes sense for Wizard of Coast to promote products that are, are more casual during the holidays. I just don't see this set being worth the money. And I don't see it being worth the money for many, many, many years, maybe a decade. Original Unglued and Unhinged was a nightmare for stores to carry because no one wanted them. And that was before, obviously, once the land hit $4 a land, then people changed their mind and started buying them. But before then, before the lands were a dollar, maybe $2, uh, there was nothing else in the set. So if you buy a box for $90, you're not expecting even half the box to return. So you do have foil lands, and I think foil lands will be expensive. December, November is a very interesting, I have a few business offers that people have been willing to sell me packs and boxes and they don't want to do magic anymore because they feel like their store is toxic and not just at one store a lot of stores um five stores from three different states have said that they want to liquidate their magic inventory and i'm just checking on prices and stuff and one anime store wants to liquidate its anime inventory but it's been and i'm more interested in that but the price point is higher so the magic is on a fire set sale. Like maybe you don't notice, but a lot of stores are looking to get out of magic right now and they're looking for someone to buy. And obviously I have a YouTube channel, so they're contacting me, calling me, texting me, hounding me to buy their inventory. And maybe like one or two of them, I'd be like, all right, that's interesting. But the fact that there's five of them right now, kind of, they're all competing against each other. And some uh, out of the five, two of them want more money than Dave and Adam. So I could literally buy these same things from Dave and Adams for cheaper than they're offering me, which would make, make no sense because Dave and Adams has free shipping, it has 5% discount on top, it's free merchandise. So unstabled, I would say $83.99 for a box is worth it if you are drafting. It is not worth it if you expect any type of fast investment within the next five years this is going to take a decade and it assumes that these cards are for our lands are not continuously reprinted into oblivion which in the past it has been uh, the reason on hands and on glued used to be four five eight dollars is because it's owed one it's owed two People didn't have four art lands, and there was something kind of special and unique. Now there's no special, there's no reason for them to be special outside of, oh, I like the card frame. But uh, I, I do like the artwork. I want to like this set because this set, if done correctly, if the lands were just hyper valuable, then it creates the atmosphere where everyone gets equal value from their packs. So therefore, the pack itself has a very predictable expected value which I like. I like predictability in my packs, as I've said that a few times. 
I love the land. I just don't think there's any value in it. If you love unglued and you want to play unglued and you think it's kind of fun or unstable and you feel like it's really fun, I would buy one and just have fun with it. But there's no MTG finance here at all. Uh, there is very limited possibility that there are cards in it that will be valuable. And even if they are valuable, let's say they reprint a Stormcrow, a really just massive Stormcrow, the most powerful card ever. And it becomes popular. Well, I, I still I don't see that it's an easy seller. The large majority of Magic players tend to be more competitive or the casual competitive, and they're not going to be like amused that this is in your EDH deck. So unstable, as much as I love the concept of having even expected value, I'm a big fan of that concept, which makes it less gambling. So I wish like the other games I play, like Fire Emblem and all the other video, Loot Crate, Overwatch, Loot Crate, that the, the value was a little more uh, evenly distributed, and that's what unstable provides you. But there's no value to begin with. I mean, all values in the dollar or two lands, and if you really, really want to make a move on it, wait about 90 days and then buy into whatever land you think is the most beautiful. Not all the lands will be valued equally. The island will probably be more worth more. The swamp probably is second. And here's kind of the interesting part. I think the forest is interesting speculation because of just the artwork. So overall, I mean, foils are going to be good. Foils of any land are, is good. But I don't know. Like, it's... I wish there was more value in the set because I like distribution. I like how it's going to be distributed. I just don't see these unstable cards ever being worth real money except for maybe like a Mox Lotus or some type of crazy card a big friendly monster, something like that, where people really kind of enjoy it as a classic magic card. Just so much product happening in November, December. I just cannot imagine uh, people having this much money to buy every single product. And some products are going to fail. I think Unstable will not do well. Anyway, that is it. <laughs> Leave me a comment below if you disagree or agree. Bye, guys.